Hey guys, it's Macro One here for a new video. I kind of had to delete my last like three attempts at doing this video because I couldn't make the audio fit into the video, which is really bad because the video is like a fucking long video, but I have a lot to talk about in this video. I just said video like five times in a row, so let's let's move on. The uh, what I want to talk about in this video, first of all, as you can see, um, well you can't see it, but basically this audio is recorded over the top of this video because it makes it easy for me to do the like chin in I, I can't really chin and talk at the same time for some reason I have a really bad like multitasking brain as you can see I'm on low health as well was just because I kind of AFK'd for a second my prayer dropped which was really silly and I nearly died but I, I luckily didn't uh, I'm on I don't click my XP bar for ages and I don't click on my my level but I, I think at this point I was like a hundred and maybe fifty sixty seventy K off but I haven't leveled it yet, I haven't really been on because I did guitar lessons straight after which I had to go to so it kind of stopped me leveling but I will probably get on tonight apart from Real Madrid and Barcelona playing again and I want to watch that at this point yeah I get an agent RS person sending me to a money site so I just add them to ignore I get those all the time, that's the downside to making videos you get fucking spammers and it pisses me off but whatever yeah remember if you do want to uh, talk to me, don't add me Go in my clan chat or my or my talk chat because that's because uh, I don't have any space in my friend chat. Uh, in this video, yeah, I want to kind of talk about quickly about the last uh, the last video I made, which I was really surprised at the feedback I got. I got really positive feedback, like barely any negative feedback at all. In fact, I don't think there was any, and it kind of just really surprised me. I didn't think that that many people would would comment on it and it would get as big as it did but I got like a good 500 views a good like 30 odd 35 comments and a lot of thumbs ups and I was just thinking probably the reason I got so many uh, views is because the thumbs up makes it appear on the YouTube um, when people type in like any of the tags as one of the top videos so a, a quick like favour could I ask of you guys is say if I get like, like that was only like 20 odd thumbs up from 500 views and I was just thinking to myself, it literally takes, what, probably one second to click the like button. It's no effort at all. It's not like I'm asking you to, like, log in and give me money on RuneScape or anything like that. Or, you know, send my link of my video, post it on your face. I'm literally asking you to click a button, just one click of your mouse. If you guys could all like this video, obviously if you didn't like it, don't. But I would really appreciate it because it does get me genuinely a lot more views. And then my videos will get a lot more publicity and I get more subscribers. And then I can kind of, once I get more subscribers, I'll probably be making a lot more videos. But at the moment, I, I kind of, I don't have a lot of time be just because of school. But if I had a massive demand to, I would obviously kind of um, make them more often. That kind of sounds bad, like I don't care about the subscribers I have already. I do, but obviously if, if you're getting loads of new subscribers, you know you need to because they're going to unsubscribe. Uh, and that sounds kind of bad, but... It, you know what I mean. I think a lot of you would agree with me. If if like someone has like a million subscribers, they need to be making a video. Niga um, higa. <clears throat> but uh, you know, smaller YouTubers tend to not make as. Uh, actually, I don't know. Maybe they they probably make more because they want to grow in the YouTube community. But I would love to make more videos. I just genuinely don't have time because of school at the moment and training and everything. But yeah, I was really kind of surprised by that feedback and. I just, yeah, I would just really appreciate if people could just thumbs it up. Just even if I got, say, out of 200 views, 50 thumbs up, that'd be just amazing. And it'd get me so many more views, I think. But, yeah, um, what did I want to talk about in this? Another thing is, uh, quickly, uh, a film review I want to do, because I went and saw it the other day, um, The Fast and Furious 5 with Vin Diesel in it and The Rock. And then that blonde guy that's in every other Fast and Furious film. And then there's that also the like Rome guy that's in the Too Fast Too Furious. And there's then there's the Ch Japanese or Chinese guy. I think no, it's Japanese from the Tokyo Drift um, movie, which wasn't. I didn't think that was a very good one. It kind of didn't match the rest of them. And then also that that didn't make sense in this film. How did he turn up right from that film when? Oh, no, 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 because didn't he know Vin Diesel? Because right at the end of that film, that drifter guy that's like the hillbilly Alabama kid uh, who learns to drift, who's been racing with the Japanese guy, doesn't he then the Japanese guy right at the end of it or something see Vin Diesel? As like an, I'm sure that that's what happens right at the end of it. Comment if, if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how he must have got introduced in this film because all the old characters come back in it. 
It's a really fucking awesome film. Honestly, you should all go and see it. it will, you will not be disappointed. Trust me on this. It is a really, really great film. Um, yeah, the, the storyline is kind of pretty much what you expect, though, from the adverts and everything. It literally is. But it is still just awesome because of all the content in it. So definitely, definitely, definitely go and see that film. It, Dwayne Johnson is rocking the shit out of that film, seriously. And he needed to. He needed to because his last film was The Tooth Fairy, which was shocking. And I don't get why he did that role. I know he's trying to do comedy and like PG-ness and Disney and shit, but come on. You're The Rock. I don't want to see you doing that. I want to see you taking that little girl, you know, t turning her sideways and sticking her up someone's candy's ass. That's what I want to see. Right, that's what I want to see, but I oh know. But then he was in that awesome film where he was like avenging his brother that got killed by some like. It turned out to be a cop in the end, a corrupt cop. That was a sick film. I really like that film. But yeah, he needed to make a good film, especially since like he's got that beef now with John Cena and the like. Yeah, you both make you like make shit films. To be fair, right. John Cena is a good actor, but he, his films have just been like small time, which I think why they shit. If you look at loads of films made by like MMA fighters uh, or or wrestlers, they always taff like like they're so low budget because they've just spent all their money on the cast, and the film just becomes shit. There's a film with Batista in, and Rob Van Dam, and it's literally it looks like it was made for like. 10 pounds <laughs> that's literally what it looks like it was made for like t 10 20 quid but and the, the rest of it was just all on actors but i don't know i think this but this was generally a good film so definitely go and watch it fucking expensive though jesus christ it was like five pounds for a ticket which is fair enough right popcorn what right how, how does this make sense right this right here is fucked up it was like five pounds for popcorn five pounds right that that is that is the equivalent for five pounds you could get a massive meal at mcdonald's right you could you know that's a meal how can they charge i don't it, it's disgusting it really is disgusting how they can charge that for that and, it, and bearing in mind it costs, costs barely anything to make popcorn they will be making a killing from that an absolute killing so next time i go i'm taking my own fucking food in there screw those guys but uh yeah, apart from that, uh, oh, YouTube related, you guys may be, uh, I, I'm guessing you will know, but in, in case anyone did unsubscribe from him, uh, Ray William Johnson has started uploading again on Broken NYC, but it's actually basically Breaking LA because that's where it's set now, but it, it's awesome and it's got uh, Big Robin from everybody's favourite Martian who is the big uh, black DJ. Um, I actually like those songs, they're pretty good, some of them are pretty catchy, Orphan Tears is really good. Um, but yeah, and I kind of really liked that because I I I really did miss breaking NYC when it when it went away because I like to kind of the whole like thing about YouTube is you get to know the video maker and you don't get to do that with movies like you, unless you watch like their bio but even then it's like an hour of like you don't really get to know that person just what they kind of portray whereas on vlogs you like get to see that every single day life and you just know you can tell whether someone's a good person or not. Uh, and like especially like Shay Tards and stuff like Shay Carl videos like you know what I mean it's just you feel like you know the person and I, it's like I was having a conversation with my friend Tom and we were like if you could meet like a celebrity say if you were walking down the street and you saw a celebrity or Shay Carl who would you go and talk to and he was like I'd go and talk to Shay Carl because I know he'd, he'd have a laugh with me and he wouldn't be like a dick and that's what I mean about Breaking Honesty it's good because it's why internet is killing television and I really think it is I barely ever watch TV anymore because YouTube is so much better and I can watch movies online that are not even out yet it's it's just so much better and that's why I like Breaking Up My Seat it adds a different element to Ray William Johnson other than the comedy side so yeah definitely go and subscribe to that channel I'm guessing you all know who Ray William Johnson is I'm not going to patronise you and say you don't but he does a thing called you know well, you know what it is equals three but yeah apart from that Mm, da, 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 da. What did I want to talk about? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be doing like a different thing with my videos. Maybe I'm thinking of making like quite professional and and before each video, like really thinking it through and planning it out. It's like a thing I'm gonna do with my friend because he's doing a media course and he'll need it for his portfolio. And I want to kind of take YouTube more seriously when I get some more spare time. 
So what I'm going to do is I, I we're going to make a, a really cool intro, like a really short one so it can never annoy anyone. Because the old one did get annoying after a while, and even I thought it. So what I will do is it will be like a really cool kind of, probably do it on something like um, GarageBand so it, it, there's no copyrights and shit. If anyone doesn't know, uh, anything you make on GarageBand can never be copyrighted, so you should use that. And I'm going to make some cool like graphic intro for it. And also maybe some cool transitions in the videos like edit it more really plan it out have more cut scenes in it so if it's a guide or something so it's straight to the point and everything like that and i think that'd be good for you guys and maybe some like comedy videos guide video just just more real content but yeah something i uh, i want to talk about in this video is the fact that uh, oh oh yeah that's something i want to talk about actually bin laden is dead Apparently, well, he is. I'm guessing he is. Uh, a lot. There's a lot of speculation. There's always going to be those people like it's a conspiracy theory. You know, it's it's not it's not real. That you know, it's coincidence. They buried him in the sea, so so they didn't have to prove that they would killed him. And and you know, when has America ever cared about Islamic tradition and all that kind of shit? Which is true. That is true. Ameri you know, you could argue that. But at the same time, do you? Th Barack Obama, I think if it is a lie, then I think Barack Obama is being lied to. I don't think he's necessarily the one making up the lie because he seems like a pretty down-to-earth cool guy and I don't think he'd really want to lie to the whole nation because it would go kind of against what like the values and that of being a president are. And and as far as it is because he's trying to get votes for his, for his next term, the fucking vote isn't for ages, so I, I don't think that that's really why he's done it now. And then, oh yeah, that's something that really pissed me off I saw on, on Facebook. You know when you get seen kids, and that they try and be like really like up to date, and like, you know the kind of kids that were like, yeah, I saw Rebecca Black on like 8,000 views, and you're like, no you didn't, shut the fuck up. And and those kind of people that are always kind of trying to find that, like make a Facebook group, like, you know those things that people like, and it's like a, like a saying, and they try and be really clever with it. Uh, and there was like someone made one, and it was such a fucking fail, they were like, um, you know, built trillions of dollars spent, you know, 10 years or something, and, and they find Bin Laden in his house, and like, looked like some people have liked it and stuff, and they thought it was really hilarious, and, and I was just like, I come in and I was just like, but they didn't know where his house was, that's why it took 10 years, you retard, oh my god, seeing kids irritate me so much, I just, I can't stand them, you just... You know, you just see him there walking down the road in, like, bright blue skinny jeans and shit, and they're like, you know, I wore skinny jeans before they were mainstream, and it's just, shut the fuck up, no, no, you didn't, it's, oh, I can't stand seeing kids, you see them all the time these days, but, yeah, you get it all the time, like, people f posting viral, like, some of the other day, I was on Facebook, posted a uh, Bed Intruder song on their thing, and they were like, check this video out, guy out guys, and they were like, yeah, yeah, I just, fa I just found this video, as, as, and like discovered it and I was like no you didn't that video is fucking old right that video is old as me it's so old honestly Jesus Christ some people it pisses me off but uh but yeah I just thought it was a really stupid thing but yeah the whole thing about Bin Laden I, I kind of the way I, I look at it is that uh, mm, I, I just think there's a really good quote from Hash Brown Live, oops, Hash Brown Live, uh, who does videos, and there was a quote uh, that was basically, let me um, let me find the quote for you guys actually now, uh, which is da, da, da. shit. People trying to talk to me. Don't get distracted because the video is nearly over. Here it is. It's by Brian McLaren, and this is kind of summed up how I felt about the Bin Laden thing. Um, joyfully celebrating the killing of a killer who joyfully celebrated killing carries an irony that I hope will not be lost on us. Are we learning from anything or simply spinning harder in the cycle of violence? And I thought that was really quite a clever quote because it, it's true, you know, at the end of the day, there's all these people rejoicing, yeah, it, it is a, like, a positive thing because now he can't kill the people, now he's dead. But it, it's just sad that it's got to this point where we've had to do this and be happy about the death of someone who was happy about the death of other people. And it's just killing, killing, killing. You know? Um, 
I did kind of hear though that he used a woman as a human shield, which is really bad. I don't know why, but I have a horrible thing where I laugh at stuff. I don't know if you ever do it where you hear something that's so like terrible and like bad that you get kind of I don't know if it's like nervous. It's like a nervous laugh, and I I do it at like the worst like possible thing. Like someone will tell me something like really sad, and like, I'm not. I don't genuinely don't find it funny, but I don't know why I nervously laugh at it. Like when someone told me that, I don't know why, but I like laughed. I felt fucking so bad about it, but I don't know why. It's just I don't know. My psychologist teacher said it, it, she didn't, wasn't angry because she said it, it's something that is actually a proven thing. People do it. Like there's people being told like the wife just died and they laugh and they are actually upset. They just randomly laugh. I don't. It's kind of really weird. But uh, but yeah. What was the, was there anything else? Yeah, I know the bullshit thing that happened the other day. I was um, I just been I just uh. Oh no, that was actually a good thing. I'll get onto the good thing and then do the bad thing in the next video because this video is nearly over. I went to the anniversary of the first ever football game uh, in the whole world, which was actually in Sheffield. That is actually where football, the actual game of like football or soccer, was invented. And the oldest ground, football ground in the world, is uh, Hallam Football Club. And then the oldest team in the world is Sheffield Football Club, just Sheffield FC, not Sheffield Wednesday or Sheffield United, but just Sheffield FC. And the anniversary was at Hallam, and my dad, my Tom, his dad is a board of directors at Hallam, so we got all suited up and everything, and we went to that, and it was really cool. We we met um, a re Premiership referee, an ex-Premiership referee, Uriah Rennie, who is um, a black referee. He's one, I think he was one of the first ever black referees in Britain, which is really awesome. And I, I was kind of, he was a really cool guy to me, actually, really, really nice guy. And he we he bought me my, me and Tom a pint, which was pretty cool, even though we were seventeen. Which I, found, I just thought, you know, what a cool guy. But this video is going to end now. My video is cut off here. But, uh, but, yeah. So, yeah, just comment on this uh, on this video. Thumbs up and everything. And uh, what, ha what have you. Uh, that's basically what I want to talk about. My next video, I'll be talking about something bad that happened. But, but it's kind of funny. Well, it's, it is kind of funny in a way. So, yeah, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos and comment, like, thumbs up and all that good shit. See you in a bit, guys.